Hey everyone, welcome back to the NASCO 6 career for part 25. We're doing more truck racing in this part. We got, uh, we got Richmond, <laughs> bad brain fart, Richmond, and then if we get bonus race time, we'll do New Hampshire. Now, based on what I did in the modified series at both of these tracks, we did very, very well. So I'm going to anticipate that it's probably going to be the same here, but you never know. So, obviously it's a vehicle. Last part, we did very well in Dodge. We Things were finally, uh, the caution came out. I thought it was over. Well, things were going our way. That caution kind of saved us, if I'm being honest. But, and, and the crew didn't fuck up, so that was good. The second race, however, we did Bristol. Um, the crew fucked up. And the same shit happened at Ups, but instead, the crew didn't fuck me over. It was the pit sequence. So, I'm thinking next time when I go on a short shot like here, thankfully it's not going to be an issue here. When I get the ups, I'm probably going to stay out a little longer to try to avoid it, or try to stay out as long as I can to try to avoid that. So that's my strategy moving forward based on those tracks. But, um, yeah, without further ado, we're going to jump right into Richmond. And let's hope we end the short track thing on a good note. Here we go in qualifying. Alright now, this is it. Be smooth. Now the best of three and four. And... Ooh, alright, we got one more lap. Try to push it a little bit here, not bad. Alright, let's hope we get through three and four a little bit better. Not the best through three and four. And... I think it's gonna be... Third, okay, we're on the bottom, not bad. I'll take that. We're on the inside. That was very close, okay. A uh, little bit tight through three and four, but I think... Good set we're gonna go with, so we're gonna lower that. 22, again, we're on a short track. I lowered this down by five. And this was at a round and a half, so I lowered down by half round. Probably, probably could loosen up more, but I don't wanna take any chances, could have stick to what we have. The key ratios are default, so I guess. Feeling really confident about this one. Good evening, race fans, and welcome to the Richmond International Raceway as EA Sports presents the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series 200. It's just three quarters of a mile around this place, but don't let that fool you. Richmond has a smooth surface, multiple racing grooves, and plenty of banking in the turns to provide a great setup for any racing series. The stars of the Craftsman Truck Series have their work cut out for them. This should be a tight battle right to the checkered flag, and maybe even longer. All right, well, let's we'll see if we can get our third win. We qualify up front. We're on the inside line. That's what makes sense even better, so let's see what we can do here at Richmond. 50 long laps, we're on the bottom lane, that makes things better, run away Richmond! Gonna try to drive with Hale, to Hale, it looks like he's a little angry, but we lost a spot, not bad, gonna break, whoa, let's turn the wall, and like I said, three and four, we lost time in qualify, looks like we lost a little bit of time here. Now we got about being patient. And yeah, I'm being pressured right out of the gate. And like I said, it's the first time in race conditions. Hey, Hornet, you, if you're gonna pass me, at least pass me on the outside if you're gonna pass me. All right, we gained a little bit of time. Yeah, just trying to get used to it. Cause like I said, it's the first time in race conditions. Not done with this track. It looks like I'm not, not, not doing well right now. It's like I said, it's the first time in race conditions. And like I said, the truck just, I've got the, the truck just, oh jeez, get to the bottom. Okay, yeah, we're not doing well right now. It's like I said, this is race conditions. It's the first time in race conditions, not doing well. 
I just want to get settled in by being pressured. Oh, jeez, okay. I just want to get one lap in. All right, can we try to relax? That will be nice. Oh my god, I'm very messed up. We're gonna try to take advantage. We're gonna go way down. He's gonna follow me. We're gonna make him into a mistake. It ain't gonna work because he's trying to follow me, trying to block me in the process. Like I said, the AI like to come down and block, so I've got to somehow play this out perfectly. But uh, the truck just gets tight in three and four. It's all right, one, two, it just gets tight in three and four. And that's why I lost time on both laps in qualifying. Gotta somehow time this out perfectly to try to get a run on Montgomery. This looks like he's trying to be a blocky pants. Ah, it just gets so tight! I might have to shift a little bit at the end of the track, but we're gonna relax and try to run him down again. Oh god, this truck is getting so bad! I feel like I gotta tighten it up again, guys. This, the, the, the truck is getting better and better! Come on! Break, break, break! Yeah, it's handling so bad! Oh jeez, it's handling so bad. I've got to tighten it up again on the pit stop. Stop, stop, stop! Jesus! Okay, now I don't want to tighten up this truck. Now I know why. Jeez, it's getting bad! Come on! Oh no! I'm sorry, it's just it, the game's handling is bad! I want a pit, but it's too- Oh my lord! And I got someone angry at me, and that's gonna be a problem! He's gonna- he's gonna kill me. Oh no, 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 no! Oh jeez, I got a pit! I have no choice! It is so bad! I got a pit! It's too early, but I have to make that stop! It's... Give me the bottom! I want a pit! It's... yeah, okay, there it is! It's just the handle is so bad! No, we're pitting! We're... we're tying up the truck! Everybody's pitting! Okay, we're gonna have a tire pressure back! And we're gonna tighten up this truck. We're not gonna, we're not gonna, eh, fuck it, we might as well repair the damage. We're gonna do a round and a half, fuck it. Okay, we're gonna have the tire pressures back up, and we're gonna tighten up the truck by half round. And that's what we're gonna do. Alright, let's hope the changes work. Now everybody can make it to the finish here. I just got how my changes work. Alright, good. I'm gonna have to stay on pit road longer because I'm repairing this truck. So I'm gonna lose more time. Yep, there, there we go, repairing. About 22 seconds. And here we go. And. Oh, oh shit. Back to racing! Alright, we're about to 12, so not bad. Tying up the truck and repaired it, so now we got a fresh truck. It's gonna be really tight, but hopefully the adjustments work. It's just the truck likes to slide out in three and four. That's the problem. Come on! It's just the truck just gets the truck just slides up the track at three and four. That's the problem. It just slides up. Jesus. One, two's not bad, so three and four is bad. I really hate three and four. It's a truck that's handled so bad for It's all right, one and two. So three and four is so bad. It's like, I gotta jam on the brakes in order to make the corner. Now, yeah, see, that's how bad we are in three and four. It's like, I gotta get it to the bottom, please! Thank you! Alright, get to the bottom. I just need to relax, that's all I really want. Alright, break. We're gonna break. Turn, turn, turn! Alright, we're getting better. 
Let's try to relax and run them, and run them down. Well, never mind. Not if I do that. I just put too much turning into that corner. Damn it! Here we go again. I saved it. Okay. I just want to relax, please. Thank you. Oh my god, okay. It's this truck this truck is so bad. It, it, I don't know I don't know what to do in the setup. The truck is not handling well. I don't know what to do. I'm trying to keep it on the bottom, then the truck wants to slap the track. It's just I don't know what the hell I don't know what to do. I don't know. I don't know what to do with the truck. Looks like the loose is about to happen. I'm just trying to get to the end of this race by being pressured from behind. Just trying to get to the end. And now it's, it's going to make it a lot harder. And I'm trying to hit my marks. And now I've got some tire problems because I'm being pressured. I'm just trying to get to the end of this race. I'm trying. I'm just trying to get to the finish. Stop. Oh, going to the bottom lane. We're trying to shift. Can you fuck off? Fuck off! Got to get past here. The truck is getting bad! Come on, got four laps! Trying to lose last spot, but this truck is handling so bad. I'm just trying to get to the finish. But now I got to deal with four laps of this when the truck is just so bad. And I'm just trying my best to get to the end. Come on! Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez! Caution! Caution! No caution, right? Are you kidding me? Jesus Christ! Stop! Fine! Come on! Even at four miles an hour, I'm still drifting! Jesus Christ! Truck. If the truck's gonna be that sideways, we might as well get four tires on this truck. Problem is, it's probably gonna be the end of the race here, so it's probably not gonna matter at this point. So we might as well get tires, but I think I think the race is probably gonna be over here, if I'm being honest. So you never know, we're gonna have to wait and see. Might as well get tires on this truck. Because I think it's going to be over here. We'll see. And... Yep, it's over. I'm fucking real. No cost, thank God. I don't know if we got time for a bonus race, if I'm being honest. We might, I don't know, but... Jesus fucking Christ. Well, I'm, I'm gonna see if we get bonus race time, because I'm gonna be hungry after that. Alright, shockingly, we have enough time to do a bonus race. Um, that race was so embarrassing. Let's just get rid of it. Let's just put that in the back of our minds. We got a new race here. And we're pretty much talking one to championship by this point. But all I want, all I'm really hoping, if I'm being honest, is hoping for a top 10. So I can go to the banquet, so. Anyways, um, we're just gonna move on. And fuck Richmond. It's time for New Hampshire. I tried that, I know I, I tried that did well in the modifieds. Should do well here, I hope. And hopefully we don't have what we had in Richmond, so. Let's move on to, let's move on to Lowen here. Alright, here we go and qualify in New Hampshire. Oh, 
Yeah, they just fall off on the straights. Get off the apron. Oh, jeez. Alright, we got a second lap. Let's try to get better here. Off the turn four. I think we're gonna take seventh. We're gonna take seventh. Not bad. We're on the inside line. I'll take it. We're seventh. Yeah, seventh. Okay. We're on the inside line. I'll take it though. So we're gonna we're gonna go back to the setup. Uh, here's what we're going with. Um, the truck's feeling really good, so we're gonna go with a half brown up. We, we're trying to go lower down the quality truck, get a little bit more speed, so we're gonna put the wedge back to where it was. And, um, probably gonna lower third gear. Um, I'm probably gonna lower third gear to try to get a little bit more. Or, go try to lower third gear. Maybe that'll help. But, because I would like to shift longer. But, anyways, we're gonna head on into the race. EA Sports and the New Hampshire International Speedway welcome you as we get ready for the Sylvania 200 in the scenic city of Loudoun. The Craftsman Truck Series makes its annual stop in New Hampshire as these drivers prepare for what should be a race with plenty of excitement. When 36 of the world's fastest trucks take to the track in New Hampshire, you're sure to see your share of bent fenders. Today should be no different, and the drop of the green flag is just moments away. All right, made some changes to the truck, hopefully to make it better. Let's get going. Hopefully we get, hopefully this race will turn out better. And run away to New Hampshire! And again, we're gonna shift. Try to go a little longer. And again, we're gonna try to shift. That'll be our strategy for this race. Sorry, Craven! Just trying to stay off the apron. Almost made a three wide pass for the lead. We're gonna complete the first lap, however. We're gonna really make a ball move for the lead. Oh, geez, three wide! We're gonna shift to get some speed. And we got the lead. Hell yeah! Alright, we made a ball pass. And it worked. We have the lead. Now let's see if I can lead a lap and get those bonus points. We're gonna shift again to try to get some acceleration. And we're gonna we're gonna pull away. Alright, we're gonna try to relax here. We don't wanna shift it everywhere. Caution is out! We got an early caution! Alright. Alright, early caution. So now we're gonna have to see what happened. Looks like they're in the three. Oh! In the wall! I believe that's the 152, not entirely sure. And yeah, the 152. They never got a close enough replay. That's what happened. All right. Well, it's kind of early in the pits. So we're gonna stay out. And what's the third? Back to racing. We're gonna blow out the bottom. They want to pass me. They got to pass me. Ooh, not the best. They try to force me down the bottom. Basically, we're gonna hit on the lead. And again, they want to pass me. They got to pass me on the high side. Looks like one truck is trying to pass me. I'm okay with that. I don't want to get past. I just don't want. I just don't want to get past on the inside. They want to pass me. They got to pass me on the high side. And it looks like we're gonna get more relaxation time here. All right, here comes Raw Horde on the inside. They ran me down after being. I don't have a seven ten in the second lead. They have just ran me down. Looks, looks like we're not we having a chap when it feels like. I probably do some more shifting to try to maintain this lead. It's just, they got a little bit more speed the second half of the straight. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to gamble and try to do some shifting. To try to maintain this lead. Because we're not, we're not burning a lot of fuel. We're not burning tires. Because I, I, I left it in the Ford for a few laps. And I don't know if they're shifting or not. It looks like they are based on how they're, I can tell them they're catching me. 
So it looks like I'm gonna have to play the shifting game and try to get away from them also. Looks like I'm able to pull a little bit by shifting. You, and like I said, you, you don't want to shift every single leg because that's how you burn fuel. So, it's a, when you get a big lead, it's okay to shift it. It's okay to lead it in the forward gear, but when you're right behind you like this, that's when you gotta do sh do some shifting and try to do try to get the best you can out of this truck. And normally shifting gives you more acceleration when you shift. But you gotta make sure you can't leave in the third too long. It looks like we s I still got a two tenth of a second lead. So now I'm gonna try to leave. Yeah, it looks like the tires are burning, but it looks like the truck's handling well. So this is the truck is holding on. I'm able to gain a little bit by shifting, so. We're gonna try to do it like this, and we're gonna try to shift and try to hang on to the slant until we have to make our pit stop. Alright, heading down the back stretch, we're gonna come down pit road this time. We're going for all four the truck. The car's hand the truck's handling well. Now we gotta hope for the crew to step up and hope they give me a good pit stop. We're gonna get to the bottom, get in the fourth, get down pit road. Alright, all right, pit crew, you better give me a fast stop here. And fingers crossed here. Okay, not bad. I mean, it's a decent stop. Gonna shoot Ryan the third. Oh, I'm sorry. Did not mean to do that. Okay, we got on the track. Not pre, but we're on the track. Okay, and we'll clean up our teammate. They're probably gonna pit here, so. Alright, we're gonna try to relax here. I was there. Alright, off the turn four. We're gonna cycle on the lead. We beat Chase Montgomery out of the pits. He got a big lead on me, but we somehow ran him down by shifting a little bit. And now we gotta cycle in. Now, this is the time we don't need to shift. It says, once they catch me, we're gonna have to do some shifting. So, and Chase Montgomery has a little bit of a lead on Hornet and everybody else also. So, without further ado, we're gonna try and relax and try to hang on to this lead the best I can. Off the turn four, coming in two laps go. Chase Montgomery's been right there behind him. Todd Cleaver and everybody else has caught us. So now I gotta hold on for another two laps. Doing a very good job holding the bottom lane. And I've been making Chase Montgomery try to pass me on the high side because I am not, I am not giving up the bottom lane easily. So if they want to pass me, they're gonna have to pass me on the high side. So it looks like we're doing a good job. And now I gotta do that for one more lap to try to get my third win. And one lot to go to Hampshire! Alright, just gotta hit my marks one more time. Gonna hold on to the bottom lane. And again, they wanna pass me, they gotta pass me on the high side. Alright, we gotta get through one more corner down the back stretch. My heart is pounding right now. Get through one more corner. And it looks like we're gonna do it off the turn four! Gonna get our third win in the truck series in New Hampshire! Yes! Yes! Redemption from Bristol or Richmond! Yes! Our third win in the truck series! Alright, let's go! Our third win! And it comes in New Hampshire! It's nice to get our third win after what just happened at Richmond. This one's a little better, but be nice. Do a little burnouts here, and then we'll get out of our pit lane and do our traditional burnout into our pit box. Hell yeah! Alright, let's get down pit road. The music's really loud, but it's really nice to finally get our third win. That's our box. Alright, here it is. Uh, it wasn't pretty. Alright, we'll take it down. Yes! Finally! Finally! 
We, we executed and got our, our third lane of the season. That 42 laps, let all but eight. We got maximum points. That's going to help us more going into Vegas. Our first mile and a half in a long time. Yes! Win number three. And I don't know what. I ain't going to talk. I ain't gonna, we're not going to go into that. Yes! And we got phone here. And your driver, I do not care. I don't care about that, Ace. Alright, so next, we got Las Vegas. And maybe, if we get bonus race time, Martinsville. And last time we had Martinsville, I got a top five. Or I got a podium. So hopefully, yeah, we can do well. And then we got Atlanta, so. And we did well in Atlanta last time we were there early in the season. After that, we got Texas. Which we showed that last time. Then we got Phoenix. And then Homestead. And then, no, Homestead. Homestead, okay. Uh, <laughs> Alright, well. We got about, what, five races left? Yeah, we got five races left. Starting in Martinsville. And let's take a look at the standings. We are now still ninth. Now we're 13 back behind this guy, wherever he is. Obviously, we know the name, but I can't really pronounce it. All right, so we went from Richie Rage to win number three. So, all right, fellas, well, that's going to do it for me today in this game. For me today, <laughs> uh, it's Friday night as I'm recording this. This will be up on this will be up a week from today, which is crazy to believe. So, anyways. That's going to do it for me today. I'll see you all when we hit Las Vegas. And as always, have a good day, everyone, and take care.